Did you know Antonio Banderas refuses to think of the lead character in Puss in Boots as a cat? And that John Mulaney refers to his character, Jack Horner, as kind of a psychopath? These are just some of the fun revelations I have in store for you as we dive into the voice actors who made Puss in Boots The Last Wish a hilarious and heartwarming story. Antonio Banderas used to be known mostly as that hunky actor who made everybody swoon with his accent and general aura. You can make anything sound sexy. And sure, that's all still true. The guy has six releases in 2023 alone, including a turn in the latest Indiana Jones movie. But in the past couple of decades, he's also become a go-to voice actor. What started out as a smaller role in the Shrek universe, the Shrekiverse, the universe Shrek, I don't know, as Puss in Boots in Shrek 2 has expanded to appearances in many DreamWorks releases. Let's just say this man has owned the character for a while now. Interestingly enough, he was originally asked to consider voicing the role with a high-pitched voice, but he and the other creatives decided on a more breathy and deep tone, giving the character more gravitas. And that's probably helpful because apparently Antonio has quite a different way of approaching his character. I don't treat my character like a cat. I treat my character like a human because he talks. Well, he's certainly right that Puss talks, because otherwise they uh, probably wouldn't need his voice acting. Anyway, he clearly adores the process and finds it very creatively fulfilling. Plus, when you see clips of him in the studio voicing the character, it's pretty obvious he's having the time of his life. Do you mind? I'm trying to eat it. I mean, meow, whatever. And why shouldn't he? The character is hilarious, the movies are classic, and he's probably receiving nine lives worth of paychecks for the gig. Another feline friend of the universe Shrek, is it catching on? No? Okay, cool. Is Kitty Softpaws, played by the inimitable Salma Hayek. Though technically these days she goes by her married name, Salma Hayek Pinot. Sure, add on a gorgeous French name to make you even more perfect, Salma. Anyway, she thinks Puss in Boots' The Last Wish is better than the previous offerings. I think this one is the best one. And she talks about the reasons the latest one is the best, especially in terms of creating and living in her character. We really spend the time to explore the characters. He was never just saying lines. And she really loved the fact that they were able to take their time, rehearse, and get to know the nuances of the story and the characters. In fact, she thinks they were able to do that more than in a regular non-animated film. Because sometimes in a regular film that people are not rehearsing anymore, everything is hurry, hurry, hurry. And frankly, even if the filming was rushed, she would have had a great time because Salma freely admits to adoring her role. I love my character of Kitty Softpaws. Well, right back at you, Salma. You can do no wrong and I won't hear otherwise. Now, you might expect that Goldilocks would be another adored character because, you know, she's Goldilocks. But DreamWorks flipped that on its head and asked Florence Pugh to voice this classic character as one of Puss's evil foes in The Last Wish. Florence embraced her inner lock, stock, and two smoking barrels character and basically admitted that good old Goldie has very much taken a turn for the worse. Goldilocks has been adopted by the bears. The bears have made her into this kind of like gangster's daughter. And Flo leaned into the part, experimenting with her best cockney accent and gangster flair. She even gave a little special oomph to the non-word elements of the recording. Oi! Plus, she admitted to using some of her own family history as a great way into the chaos and edginess of the character and the scenes she's in. Miss Pew seems to be one of those actresses who can fully go good and then fully go evil, and we will believe all of it. On the opposite side of the character spectrum is Pero, aka Perito, an ever-positive joy of a therapy puppy, voiced by Harvey Guillen. Harvey defo had fun in the booth doing this movie. Oh, this is great! Razzing and ribbing and barbing and pooping and snooting! <laughs> the man is basically designed to play a character whose goal it is to make everyone's day better. I mean, he admitted to being so happy being in the movie, it made every day feel sunny outside, even when it wasn't. And even on days that it was like cloudy, I still felt this like vibe of goodness. It just put me in a good mood. And at the same time, the character of Jack Horner pretty much has the opposite effect. Voiced by John Mulaney, Jack is, well, troubled. In one interview, John sugarcoated it, but in another, he just came out with it. It's kind of a psychopath. And of course, John has doubts that Jack will ever change. Jack Horner will never be happy. But at least it definitely seemed like John had a ton of fun voicing Jack, giving that trademarked Mulaney old-timey lilt to the character. 
And of course, the opposite of an old-timey lilt is definitely the deep voice dynamism that Wagner Mora used to voice the Big Bad Wolf. Not too surprisingly, this version of the Big Bad Wolf is a bounty hunter, though not the kind you root for like Boba Fett. He's definitely on the evil side of the street, and Wagner Mora kills it as this deep-voiced baddie. Well, well, if isn't Puss in Boots himself. Not only that, he definitely has respect for the part. It's really cool to play one of the greatest villains in the fairy tale <laughs> universe. Although he tried not to get too bogged down in the bad part of playing a bad guy, Wagner still found the levity in the character and the situations he's involved in. All of the characters are very funny. Okay, I'm gonna go rewatch this movie, and then, if there's time for dinner, all the other Puss in Boots movies and the Shrek movies. Okay, fine, maybe I'll skip dinner. Priorities, right? Have any thoughts about the voice cast of Puss in Boots The Last Wish? Pop them in the comment section.